Okay, you guys, I am starting a video series on all the things you can do to boost your immune system right now. And so we're starting this series off with vitamin D. There's so much information, There's so stay all the way through this video. It has the power to boost your immune system like no other vitamin out there. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Get ready. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and today I wanna to talk about your immunity. So there is a lot of craziness going on in the world right now, and we there's a lot of fear. And what I wanna do over the next several videos is really give you the power back, because you were designed in an incredibly miraculous body, and there are a lot of really easy steps you can be taking to boost your own immune system. So when I went to go look at putting together a video series on immunity, I had to start with vitamin D. We have so much incredible research out there about what vitamin can, uh, D can do for preventing cancer, what it can do to kill viruses and bacteria. Um, we also know vitamin D as being that, that vitamin that can help keep our bones strong. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about specifically about what your vitamin D level should be. So we'll talk about that, those of you that get it measured and where is it dangerous and when is it okay, those levels. I wanna talk about three components to the immune system specifically that vitamin D will help with. And then I'm gonna dive into foods and strategies that we can use to keep our vitamin D levels at their highest. Okay, so get ready. Again, this video is to give you power back because when you work these principles, your immune system will be quite a bit stronger and you will be able to fight anything that comes your way. So let's start with this idea. We used to think that vitamin D was primarily a vitamin we needed to keep our bones strong. So that was many years ago. We do know that vitamin D, when you have appropriate vitamin D levels, it does help you with mineralization in your bones. So specifically calcium and phosphorus. So those of you that are concerned about osteoporosis, always it's important to keep your vitamin D levels up. Now there's a little bit of controversy over what your vitamin D levels um, should be. And uh, when I went diving for some research for you all, I will tell you that experts are saying somewhere be between 20 and 30 is what you're looking for. Anything under 20, and this is with a blood test, is gonna be incredibly deficient. I will tell you that some uh, cancer experts believe that your vitamin D levels shouldn't dip below 30. So make sure if you're not getting a yearly vitamin D test, that is one of the, I, all doctors would agree on this, that is one of the most important yearly blood tests that you should get. So know your levels for sure, especially right now. Wouldn't it be great, like, Go, into your, go and get a blood test, go have your doctor test your vitamin D levels, and then you'll know, like, are they too low and are you at risk for certain infections? That would be a really powerful move if you knew that, that measurement right now. Okay, so now what are the three parts of your immune system that vitamin D really interacts with? The first part that I want you to think about is respiratory. So they are showing there's, and I'm gonna link these studies, that we know that uh, vitamin D, adequate, amount, adequate amounts of vitamin D will boost um, your antimicrobial peptides. So especially these peptides are in the lung area in your respiration area for your breathing. When these you have an adequate, adequate amount of vitamin D, you're also going to have more peptides in the lungs which will fight bacteria. It is an antibiotic um, reaction that these peptides have. So how, what does that mean to you? Let's think about it like this. If you are prone to pneumonia, you're prone to chest colds, you know that that's like a weak spot that you keep getting over and over again, you're going to want to make sure that you have more vitamin D in, in your system and constantly be monitoring that do the steps I'm going to teach you here in a moment at the end of this video and do them on a regular basis. So that's the first thing that vitamin D levels do for our immune system. Second thing is that there's research showing that vitamin D can help with, this was a research study actually done on uh, tuberculosis and cod liver oil. 
and they found that vitamin D, when you had a proper amount of vitamin D levels, that it had a dramatic effect on macrophages and monocytes and pathogens. We're back still in the bacterial, a little more of the bacterial worlds, but this is the part of your immune system that are scavengers. They go and they find they, bacteria, they'll find some viruses, they'll find fungus, and they'll go and they'll eat them and get rid of those. So this is great for everything from candida in the gut to pneumonia to viral infections affecting especially the lungs, but affecting your whole body. So that's the second component of vitamin D that's really helpful. Okay, third component doesn't really affect us right now, but there, are, there is um, quite a bit of research showing that vitamin D levels, when they dip, can cause our immune systems to not adapt easily, and specifically in autoimmune cases. So autoimmunity of any kind is a hyperreactivity to uh, a substance in the body that the body is going after. It is an immune system that is reacting all the time. So if it's RA, it's reacting to uh, 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 toxins primarily in the joints. If it's uh, d diabetes type one, it's reacting to the, to the pancreas. Uh, if it's lupus, it's reacting to muscles, so skin. So autoimmunity, all that is, is, is like immune system that's turned on too much. So what vitamin D does is it helps that immune system calm down so that it can have a reaction, but then it can go back to balance. So the third thing that vitamin D will do is keep, help an autoimmune condition. Well, that's kind of important right now when everybody's in a frenzy about making sure that they don't get a viral infection that's spreading. It's, it's important right now for people who have autoimmune conditions to keep their immune system as balanced as possible. So, Make sure you're doing more of the vitamin D enhancing strategies. Okay, so those are the three things. Respiration, it's helping with macrophages, monocytes, and pathogens. So the scavengers of our immune system. And then the third thing is that it's really helping the immune system adapt, especially those of you that have an autoimmune condition. Okay, so let's talk about how can you raise your vitamin D levels. So we all know the sun. And it's important that you don't just go out into the sun. There's actually a lot of different ways that you, we want you to get sun exposure. So the best way is you want at least 10 to 15 minutes of sun and you want it at the midpoint of the day. So they say between 10 and three is the best time to get the, the strongest UVB light that will help with your vitamin D levels. So the other trick is that you want to make sure that you have the uh, skin exposed. So, you know, going out dressed like this is not going to increase my vitamin D levels. You need to have your chest, your abdomen, and your arms exposed to the sun so that you're able to convert UBV into uh, vitamin D. So that's really important. It has to be done between 10 and 3. Now the other way that you can help make sure that when you are out in the sun that you're getting the most amount of vitamin D possible is you wanna think about the surface of your skin. So on the surface of your skin is vitamin uh, D, uh, I'm sorry, omega-6 receptor sites. So these receptor sites are really important because they will make the skin very receptive, like it's a receptor site, receptive to UVB light um, and it will help you turn that light into vitamin D more efficiently. So how do you get more omega-6 receptor sites? That comes primarily from supplementation. So we have bad omega-6s, which comes from harmful oils, and we have good omega-6s, which comes from helpful oils. So one of the things that, one of the products that I love is Pure Form. This is one of those supplements that when I take it, I can feel my skin is so much softer. I notice I don't get, uh, get burnt as much in the sun because those receptor sites are open, they're taking in the sun, they're turning it into vitamin D. So if you wanna enhance your uh, ability to convert sunlight into vitamin D, make sure you're upping your omega-6 uh, uh, oils, those are like flax, uh, all the seed oils. So flax, all the uh, nut oils like walnut, sesame seeds, or you can take a supplement like Pure Form. Okay, so that's sunlight. Definitely need to be getting out in the sun right now. Okay, second piece of increasing your vitamin D. 
you want to look at food. So here's the challenge we have. When we look at food for vitamin D, um, there's not a lot of sources, which is why you start to see people fortifying products. Like you see it in cereals all the time that's fortified with vitamin D or in milks it's fortified with vitamin D. That is not a great source of vitamin D. So some really good sources of vitamin D food wise are some of the things that we don't really love. Like I already talked about cod liver oil. So the fatty fish, the really fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines, cod liver oil. Those are gonna be your greatest sources of getting um, more vitamin D into your body. Here's the challenge that we have, and I don't, it's, it's a tough one that I wrestle with for myself is a lot of our fish right now are um, toxified. They have heavy metals in them, they have plastics in them. So if you are gonna, this is not the time to make a dose on fish, but it is a good time to sprinkle some, some of these fattier fish into your diet or take a, a, a something like a supplement that is already tested for those heavy metals. That would be another resource. The other foods that are actually really good and yummy, I think, are like shiitake mushrooms, all different types of mushrooms, but shiitake mushrooms would be would be the, are the highest. And of course, we do want to have them raw. If you're cooking with mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms raw are going to be the best. Eggs, egg yolks specifically, two large eggs, cage-free eggs specifically, are going to be they say are has about 15 IU's of vitamin D. And that's, you know, not, that's a drop in the bucket of how much vitamin D you need in a day, but 15 IUs is still a great, um, better than nothing, right? So I wanna make sure that you're, you're increasing your fatty fish, throw, eating your mushrooms and increasing your eggs, okay? Now, the last thing that I'll tell you is that if you're like me and you're like, I'm busy, I'm not outside as much as I'd like to be, I'm inside more, um, I don't like cod liver oil, I'm not sure I like eggs, mushrooms do okay for me, and you want the fastest path to increasing your vitamin D le levels, that's where you gotta supplement. And if there was ever a supplement I would recommend for the majority of people, it would be a vitamin D supplement. There's a couple of things you wanna look for if you're gonna supplement with vitamin D. So you wanna make sure that you have a, a, a supplement that has K2 in it. Vitamin D and K2 put together will increase its absorption into your body. I, I know we use DB3. DB3 is a great product. We have had pre and post tests done on our patients with low vitamin D levels and we can see the changes very quickly. The other reason I love DB3 and you can find a product that works for you, this is just what I use, is it has vitamin A and it has vitamin zinc, it has zinc in it, which is also fabulous for boosting your immune system. So you're not only getting vitamin D, but you're getting yourself some other supplements that will help with immune power. So you can get DB3 on Revelation Health. We'll leave a, a link in there. If you have a vitamin D supplement and you love it, just go in and look and ask yourself, does it have K2 in it? Does it have A? Does it have zinc? Those things are more important than dosage. I get a lot of questions all the time about dosage. It's more important that you have a K2 with it. It's more important that you have the, you add in the other immune components like vitamin A and zinc, okay? So there you go, that's vitamin D. It can do a lot, it can do so much for you. So please, if this is all overwhelming, if you are feeling powerless, for the, you know, go out into the sun, get yourself a supplement. If you like cod liver oil, lean into cod liver oil, but your body is made to activate vitamin D so that it can have an incredible immune response. You are incredibly powerful. So if you're feeling powerless, move into action and you'll be amazed. All of a sudden you'll calm down, which also helps your immune system. So there you go, that's vitamin D. And as always, let me know how that helps. Let me know your favorite vitamin D source and um, cheers to a great immune system.